Violence continues to uproot families from their homes in the Democratic Republic of Congo. These displaced persons are supporting each other through a local group. The United Nations has created the association to advocate for the protection of human rights to find solutions for the problems faced by the most vulnerable among them. Jacqueline Kamala and her family had to flee their village in the North Kivu province of the Democratic Republic of Congo due to repeated attacks by various armed groups. We were at the market and we heard gunshots. We didn't know what was happening or who was shooting. Everyone ran away. Jacqueline is a member of a group of eternally displaced persons and their host, who have formed an association that advocates for the protection of human rights in their communities and helps find solutions to the challenges they face. They call themselves AHCOPDI, an acronym which in French stands for Humanitarian Action for the Consolidation of Peace and Integrated Development. UNHCR supports the group to lobby the authorities and humanitarian organizations for more or better support and assistance. Internally displaced persons face several uh, violations of human rights, such as sexual violence and arbitrary arrest. UNHCR approach is to empower these people in giving them the capacity to defend themselves, but also to respond to the protection incidents that are happening in their community. The United Nations Refugee Agency says over one million people have been displaced in DRC this year by ongoing violence, and that North Kivu now hosts the highest number of returning displaced persons in the country. Eastern Congo has been plagued by banditry and armed insurrections for more than two decades, since the fall of dictator Mobutu Sese Seko. But the past year has seen a surge in violence around North Kivu. It's early Christmas for thousands of Cameroonian refugees camped at Adagom in Ogoja local government area of Cross River State as the refugees were surprised with Christmas packages to enable them to celebrate. Besides the gifts ranging from food, staff, toiletries and clothing, women including those pregnant at the camp had the opportunity to be attended to by a group of doctors as part of measures to put a smile on their faces. It's more than a year since these refugees from Cameroon have been seeking asylum in Cross River State following the ongoing crisis in their country. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees puts it that more than 20,000 refugees are presently camped in five communities of the state with over 3,000 camped at the Adagom settlement in Ogoja local government area. <laughs> they said things have not been easy for them since they arrived at the camp. Hunger, lack of access to immediate health care services at the camp and outside the settlement are some of their immediate challenges. The woman be born with bleed. He born for us. They say and say born for after for some two days. He start bleeding. So they carry he go general. So go put two back of blood. Once the government can give you our own hospital. After training, they empower us. Before they could empower, we come back to Ogoja here. We are, now we are here in Ogoja. So they come down in Ogoja. They come and empower us. After the empower, it is the empowerment money that I use and buy this machine. But since I have not yet have a permanent place to work. I cannot be able to see new dress to sew, so I can't tell how much I'm going to earn, how much I'm going to store. Now, it appears relief has come their way, as a team of medical doctors are here to render free services to them as a way to mark the Yuletide season. We came with our ultrasound scan machine to identify high-risk pregnancies in the camp. Some people took off, didn't know they were pregnant. We want to be sure there are no placenta previous, there are no breech pregnancies, there are no concomitant, um, um, what do you call it, uh, genet genetic abnormalities, anything that may result in, in risky labor within the camp, so we can identify inform the camp doctors and then they make necessary effort to transfer to a tertiary or a secondary institution for apt health. The refugees are grateful for the gesture, but hope 
the donated items are shared among them evenly. And I send our leaders the way they put our hand, that they make we with the vets. Because when they can't give us things like that, we'll see if I went on reach, we'll not see them again. That they make we grow and like. But the United Nations is giving assurances that modalities are being put in place to give a new sense of hope to thousands of Cameroonian refugees scattered across most communities in the state. We want to have a support that will not um, distort the institutional systems that exist. So we are looking at either strengthening the system or working with the head of the systems to see how we can accommodate all these refugees that have come in the country. These refugees say they want more, irrespective of how life has dealt with them since the outbreak of war in their country. Imani Ode, Channels Television News. South African power utility ESCOM will reduce its executive management to 10 from 21. The chief executive says in its internal memo that it is crucial they set up for the future and believes steps have been taken in placing them on a path towards stability. ESCOM spokesman Kulu Pausiwe confirmed that the company had approved the reorganization of the top management structure. ESCOM, which has implemented power cuts in recent months due to coal shortages and poor plant performance, is fighting for survival after a decade of financial decline. It previously stated that it wants to cut its 48,000 workforce. According to the memo, among those leaving the utility is Dave Nichols, the head of Nuclear Energy, who was due to retire next year. He's leaving at the end of the month, as are seven others. Police in Sudan have fired tear gas at football fans, demanding an end to President Omar al-Bashir's rule as protests spread across the country. Hundreds of demonstrators blocked the road near a football stadium in the capital before clashing with riot police. Opposition figures say 22 protesters have been killed since Wednesday, but officials say the figure is much lower. The protests erupted after bread and few price rises were announced, but they have escalated into calls for an end to the president's 29 years rule. Over the past year, the cost of some goods has more than doubled, while overall inflation has risen to nearly 70 percent. Still to come on the program. When we come back, we'll be looking at Christmas preparations and celebrations on the continent. Please stay with us. <laughs> 